focus group discussions are a very popular method, although I do think that sometimes this method is being overused. And in this video I will explain why I think this is the case. So what are focus groups? A focus group is essentially a group of people discussing a certain topic. These people usually share some kind of an experience or some kind of background so that they can establish some common ground when they discuss this topic. Uh, these people, they have a direct experience of the topic you are investigating, so they can be treated as experts in this particular topic or this particular field. Importantly, a focus group is not a group interview. So, in a group interview, you also have a group of people, and as an interviewer, you are interviewing these people, usually take turns asking them questions. In a focus group, however, you are not an interviewer, you are the moderator of the focus group discussion, which means that you are present, but you're not directly asking them questions. The whole purpose of the focus group is to let the participants speak, let the participants discuss this topic among themselves. So you are still there, you are monitoring the progress of the discussion. Sometimes you may ask some questions or make sure that they are following the transcript, the whole focus group transcript, and they are covering the topics that you want them to cover. But again, as I said, usually you try not to intervene too much and not to ask direct questions at uh, specific members of the focus group. So this conversation is supposed to be as natural as possible. So the participants should be in charge of how this conversation develops, which is important in light of how we analyze focus group data. And when you analyze focus group data, you don't only focus on the themes that are being discussed, as is quite common in interview data analysis, for example. Although, when analyzing interview data, you're also looking at some nonverbal cues, so how this person acts or how he or she feels. In focus groups, in uh, analyzing the focus group data, uh, this nonverbal part uh, is much more important. So, in addition to the themes themselves, you're also looking at the whole group dynamics, how the conversation develops whether the whole group managed to establish uh, some kind of common ground or maybe shared identity, and also how individual members behave and contribute to this discussion. So you want to look at things like uh, the voices that are being silenced, for example, whether there is a participant who's trying to argue his or her point, but other participants uh, do not really pay attention to these points, or maybe there is a participant who's uh, manage to successfully uh, raise a point or maybe change the other participants' perceptions on a certain topic. And these perceptions are another thing that you may be looking at. So whether individual group members' beliefs or attitudes or perspectives have changed as a result of the other members' contribution. So you're looking at the whole focus group discussion from the beginning and you may want to analyze individual members' beliefs and uh, attitudes and how they express their views and what they believe, what their views were and have they been influenced by the other group members views. You're also looking at how the whole group establishes meaning, how each individual participant contributes to that meaning and how and whether the whole group manages to gradually uh, reach some kind of a conclusion. So again you're interested in the whole group's uh, views but also in each individual and how and whether they contributed to developing this view. Also, if some of the focus group members have been interviewed before, or maybe you have collected uh, some other types of data from these participants, you would also like to investigate whether the views they expressed in the focus group differ from the views they expressed, for example, in individual interviews. And then you'd like to investigate what caused this uh, change in perspective. There is a whole number of things that you may want to investigate when you are analyzing focus group data and if you would like to get some additional ideas have a look at my blog article below this video where I link to several academic articles about focus group analysis and there is also a table that uh, shows you a number of questions that you may want to ask when you're looking at the focus group data. Focus groups can be 
an extremely effective and interesting method, but you also have to consider whether focus groups are suitable for your study. The most important question is whether you are interested in these additional perspectives that I mentioned, whether there is any reason for you to investigate these group dynamics, because sometimes you may not be interested in that and sometimes all you want to know is uh, your individual participants perspective. You also have to consider whether you have access to people who are not only knowledgeable and they can contribute to your topic but they also feel comfortable discussing this topic with the whole uh, group of other people. This will also depend on the topic you're investigating because if you are investigating a very sensitive topic again you have to be very careful because some people may actually prefer to express their views individually in a face-to-face -face interview rather than discussing their views or their experiences with a group of people. Which is not to say, however, that whenever you're investigating a sensitive topic or a sensitive or difficult problematic experience, you should not be using a focus group because sometimes, again, some people may actually feel more comfortable uh, being able to express their views in a group or maybe listen to uh, similar experiences described by other people. So this may actually encourage them to share their own experience. So to conclude, a focus group can be an extremely effective method that will result in you collecting a number of rich insights. However, you have to consider whether it suits your research purpose, whether you have access to the participants who would potentially give you that rich data and also you need to make sure that you are ready to analyze much more than just the themes being discussed in the group because doing so would be an extreme waste of your data. If you like this content I would really appreciate it if you could like this video this helps uh, the video being found on YouTube and also if you are new to this channel consider subscribing.